All right, guys, I had to do a voiceover for the first time. We are trying to get that watch on. So you got to get the medic out as soon as possible. <clears throat> and then the clone sergeants. What I'm trying to do is put up billy blocks as many people as I can. So I made a mistake. I should have gone for clone sergeant, put the billy block. He's going to do an AOE. See? You've got to put ability blocks on the clone sergeants because the AOE will take you out. All right, medic's got to go because he's going to revive the other clones. Let's try to get this clone sergeant. I hope everyone's able to get a watch shard. So you don't need bugs to be crazy geared up. Um, I've seen Reddit videos and uh, chats that gear 11, gear 12 is easy. You've got to have high potency on Poggle to land all those ability blocks. All right, round two, fight. All right, so you see how that you can call the droids? See, of course, they can't be called because you have brood, uh, the brute in there. But what I use it for, I'll use it a little bit to take away buffs. All right, so you know, you got to get the medic out of there. I'm going to trigger the uh, ability for one shot. I'm going to try to take out Shock T. Nice, 249,000 damage, that's crazy. So I highly recommend Relic Spy and Relic Brew. That's all I have Relic, the rest of mine are all gear 12. And I can easily get this done. So I'm putting out this little show, hopefully it'll help everyone out. See how I try to ability block as many people I can and go after the weakest person. That's mainly the key is ability blocks. And so since if you don't have a Relic Spy, you need to spread those ability blocks out and then just get them down, just wind them down. You know, use the Hellfire when it's available. All right, so far so good. All right. I don't want to use the one shot because I'm going to save it for round three. All right, come on. Let's get this clone sharpshooter. The clone sharpshooter, take those out as soon as you can too because they do big hits. They can take you out. Especially if you don't have relic bugs or at least gear 12. All right, we got round three coming up. All right, come on, we're trying to do a one shot here. I think, I, I think I'm going to try to one shot Mace and it didn't work because Mace is pretty thick. You want to ability block who you can, like I said. Hellfire is available. Trying to get Mace Window out of there because he's going to put Shatter Point on someone and then someone's going to die. So he's pretty thick. So the reason why I'm going for Mace is because I have ability block on Clone Sergeant so he's not going to AOE. Alright, now I've got him down. Got to go after the Medic because he's just going to revive. Okay, I'm going to take away all those buffs. All right, now we got to try to get the clone sergeant out of there. He's just going to one-shot it. He's gone. Now we go after the medic immediately so they can't revive. Okay, now I got to go after Mace. She can be able to get a one-shot right here. Easy. 313 damage. So, Relic Spy, I'm telling you. If you want to just Relic one uh, Geo Bug, Relic Spy. All right, nice. Round four, guys. Round four. Got to get that watch shard. So like I said, try to spread out ability block as much as you can. First, clone sergeant. You want to try to get him out as soon as you can, since there's no medic. And then you got to go after clone arc trooper. Try to put an ability block at least. And like I said guys, ability block is the key. Try to spread the ability block out and then try to just start one-shotting with Spy as much as you can. I don't taunt with Sunfac as much because he's only gear 12. See how I'm trying to spread the ability blocks out? Nice, nice. Got to put an ability block on Luminara. She's just going to heal everyone. Okay, got an ability block there. Now we're going to one-shot somebody. 
Ayala, goodbye. 257,000 damage. That's crazy. Let's try to put a blind out there. Nope. Resisted. All right. Clone Arc Trooper to me has got to go. He does some damage. He's got to go. And then you just start windering down whoever you can from there. It's pretty easy. Uh, most important thing is if you don't have a strong Geo Squad, try to wait till the platoons are filled. It does make it a little bit easier. And there you go guys, pretty easy. Like I said, all I have is a Relic 3 Brood Alpha and I think a Relic 3 or 4 Spy. We'll show my bugs. Actually, this is a pre-recorded video. I'm doing a voiceover, so I don't think I did. So I got that victory. Got that Watch Shard pretty easily. I hope that was helpful.